La Perm Cat vs. Persian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kavi. A Persian's legs are short, thick and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Persian's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Persians can come in different looks. Some, known as peak face Persians, have an extremely flat face. Think twice about the breathing problems such a cat might have before deciding to get one. Doll face Persians are said to have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat as the show Persian or the peak face Persian. Persians of all stripes stand out for their infinite variety of coat colors and patterns. Imagine, if you will, seven solid color divisions, white, blue, black, red, cream, chocolate, and lilac, plus silver and golden division colors of chinchilla and shaded silver. Then there are the shaded, smoke, tabby, calico, particolor and bicolor divisions. For instance, white Persians have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes, other solid colored Persians have brilliant copper eyes, silver and golden Persians have green or blue-green eyes, and so on. The La Perm's outstanding feature, of course, is his coat which has loose, bouncy curls, making it light and airy to the touch. Tighter, longer curls surround the neck, forming a rough and clustering at the base of the ears. The whiskers are also long and curly. The coat comes in two lengths, short and long, and any color or pattern. Tabbies, tortoise shells, and red cats are most common. Long-haired La Perms have a plume tail. The coat's length and fullness may vary seasonally. It sometimes parts naturally down the middle of the back. The short-haired La Perm does not necessarily have a ruff, ringlets or earmuffs, and the texture of the coat may be harder than that of the long-haired La Perm. He has a tail with fur that looks wavy, more like a bottle brush than a plume. The short coat may also part down the middle of the back. Whatever the length, the La Perm coat manifests in different ways. Kittens may be born hairless, with straight hair or with curly hair. Both long-haired and short-haired kittens can be born in the same litter. You may notice that the name on your kitten's pedigree includes the letters BC, BS or BB. Those initials indicate whether the kitten was born curly, born straight, or born bald and helps breeders study how the gene is expressed. The La Perm's head is a modified wedge shape, meaning it is slightly rounded. The medium size to large ears are slightly flared. Long-haired La Perms have full furnishings, hair inside the ears, and a covering of fur on and around the outer ears that resemble earmuffs. Expressive eyes can be any color. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The clever La Perm has a sense of humor. Often described as clownish, he is something of a mischief maker who makes talented use of his paws to open doors, swipe things he wants or tap you on the shoulder for attention. He's not clingy, but he likes to be with you and will follow you around, sit on your shoulder or the top of your computer, or sit in your lap, whichever option is most convenient for him. He is moderately active and enjoys retrieving items that are thrown at him. Despite his reputation for getting into things, the La Perm is pleasant to live with. He rarely uses his voice, and he is affectionate, gentle, and patient with his people. Most are also welcoming to visitors as long as they were well socialized as kittens. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, 
The Persian is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. The law perm's unusual coat is easy to care for and usually doesn't mat or tangle if it is combed or brushed one to three times a week. Longer coats should be groomed more frequently. Use a comb with revolving teeth for best results. It will go through the coat easily without straightening the curls. To keep the cat looking as curly best, mist the coat with a little water or fluff it with damp hands to set the curls. The coat sheds little, and shedding is further reduced with regular brushing. If small mats develop, Brush them out gently with a slicker brush or greyhound comb, stainless steel with narrow teeth at one end and wider teeth at the other end. If you give the law perma bath, press a towel against the coat to soak up moisture, and then let him air dry in a warm, draft-free spot. Using a blow dryer will give him a bad case of frizzies. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under-eye stains from forming. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails weekly. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. The easygoing but playful La Perm is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. Persians aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.